the government says it will not recruit any more staff into its workforce in 2023. Finance Minister Ken Furiata says his outfit will halt the employment of personnel in the country's civil and public service from January 2023. He said this during the um, statement given in Parliament on Ghana's budget. Government sponsored a set out training and staff development activities at the office of the president's ministries and SOEs must be put on hold for the 2023 financial year. Reduction of expenditure and appointments, including salary freezes, together with suspension of certain allowances like housing, utilities, and clothing. A freeze on new tax waivers for foreign companies and review of tax exemptions for free zone mining oil and gas companies. A hiring freeze for civil and public servants. No new government agency shall be established in 2023. There shall be no hampers for 2022. There shall be no printing of diaries, notepads, calendars, and other promotional merchandise by MDAs, MMDAs, and SOEs for 2024. All non-critical projects must be suspended for 2023 financial year. Let's talk further on this issue. And joining us via Zoom to help us understand what this means going forward is labor expert Austin Gami. Good evening to you, Sam. Welcome to this night. Now, government says it will not recruit any more staff into its workforce in 2023. What will, the, um, what, what does not worsen the unemployment situation in the country? Well, it's obvious, but uh, I think it's something that is uh, necessary for now. I say so because uh, the level, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. Yeah, the, the, the number we even have in the public service now is already uh, described as overbloated. Sometimes they label it as uh, a ghost people, and therefore it's only appropriate at this point in time to say we are putting it on hold. But uh, we are building a lot of schools. We are also building hospitals. Mm. And therefore, what do we do with those, those, those uh, infrastructure? Uh, hospital will need to be stocked with nurses, doctors, lab technicians, anesthetists, and so forth and so on. So we really have no choice uh, than to do that when the time comes. But uh, maybe the statement was uh, condensed, but the reality is that if someone uh, in a critical position is no longer there, he resigned or passed on, and so forth and so on, mm. the person will have to be replaced. And so I'm, I'm sure the devil in the de is in the details. We'll get to know the details when the full uh, statement is out. Mm. And, and as we wait for the full statement, how do you think government should handle this? You see, the problem is that you cannot have an open-ended check open to be employing people just for the sake of uh, maybe uh, supporting uh, people who might have supported the government. Mm. You know, we had a, a situation where we have uh, 100,000 of people uh, from NAPCO, which maybe was not handled all that well. Uh, we have a lot of people who come from school and are posted uh, for national service, uh, which is good. That one is, is, is not debatable. But and so we don't need to create the likes of NAPCO and the types. Mm. What we need to do is to have a structured arrangement to employ people properly because they are needed to be employed and they are catered for uh, within the government uh, you know, service arrangement. Uh, so not hiring people at this point in time, I think is is appropriate, but the, the impact is also obvious. Mm -hmm. We we'll have a lot of youth unemployment, but uh, the youth start, according to what they are saying, uh, may go to be of help. Entrepreneurship arrangements that are being done may be of help, but until it is done and done well, that will be a major, major handicap to those who are coming out from school in 2023 and beyond. But isn't this a time where you advise the youth and people out there to take advantage of you start um, going to entrepreneurship and get um, help from government? My prayer is that it should be done well. I'm, I'm not too sure from time immemorial, government projects are always considered as though it's a Father Christmas arrangement. 
and therefore we do not take good care of it. People should become wise. Um, our educational institutions in teaching must teach the entrepreneurship properly mm. for the people to know that they are taking their own destiny into their own hands uh, to be able to create their own employment and future employ other people. Because there is no other way the public sector can accommodate them mm. in the form in which we have been doing it. All right. Thank you, sir. Austin Gami is a labor expert. We were speaking on government decision to put a hold on employment into the public sector. We'll be more later on that.